Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Bless this church and bless yes, the yes, people that have, that have been able to be able to get food. And I ask that you saturate this word, God. I ask that you bless the church and ask that you bless the people that have been able to get food. And I ask that you bless the church and ask that you bless that in this service that anyone is going through, ask that you are able to fix it, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That you are able to fix it, God. That you are able to. Bless their family members and that anyone that has any circumstances that are made on you, I ask that you bless them right now in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 The name of, of my son is to trust in God. Oh, <laughs> and you need to trust in God no matter what happens. If you doubt God, then you shouldn't be doubting God. Because right. God will never doubt you. Come on. I'll be going, I'm reading the kids' Bible, so I'm not saying it's an adult Bible. But I'll be on the first Samuel, the 17th chapter. chapter. Young David stood before the lions. Mighty the lions was the physical champion of the Philistine army. And he was so big and powerful, he was practically a giant. The lions had challenged the Israelite soldiers to a single combat, mm. but not one of them had dared to fight the terrible warrior. But David did. God had been with him when he protected his sheep from lions and bears. Uh -huh. And David knew that God would be with him now. And when David knew that he was going to fight the lions, he knew that God would be with him because he was protecting his sheep from lions and bears. It's the same story. It's the same story of Daniel. He was put in the lion's den. The lions never hurt him. He came out unharmed. He, he had no bruises, nothing whatsoever. And when take your time. They found out that David was innocent. Yeah. They found out Daniel was innocent. They put the other people that blamed him. Uh -huh. They put the other people in the lion's den, yeah. and they were completely ruthless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it says the king gave David his own armor and weapons, but they were too big and heavy for the young boy. Yes. So David stood before the lion. Was nothing but a staff, a sling, and three smooth stones from a nearby stream. The lions laughed when he saw the young shepherd boy, but David fearlessly ran toward him, yeah. put a stone in his sling, yeah. flinging it with all his might, and he collapsed in the middle of his forehead. When the lion fell to the ground, they were raised up, blowing out of the lion's own sword, yes. and cut his head apart from his body with one stroke. Yeah. That's how fast the devil can cut you off from God. Oh, 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 Go ahead on and preach. When the devil try to cut you off from God, you have to tell. You have to pray. And you have to tell God that you are trying to get the devil away from your body. You, you need to pray. The old, that's sometimes the, that's the only thing you can do is pray. Amen. And the Philistines were so shocked that the champion was killed and turned and ran away. Amen. Yeah. When it's the same story of Job. When Job, when God wanted just Job to be tested, yeah. he he the devil had to get permission from God. Yeah. He had to get permission.
I mean the third chapter. And when the king learned of the three Mr. Vines, he was furious. He offered them one more chance to obey. But the young man flew saying, Your Majesty, we will not bow down to anyone but our God. You should not be bowed down, bow down to nobody. Come on now. Except for Jesus Christ. Right. And he, he can save us from the furnace, but even if he doesn't, we will never worship his statue. The angry king told his guards to tie up tangle with ropes and to soak up the furnace until it was seven times harder than usual. They were thrown into flames. The furnace was so hot that the guards themselves were scorched to death. Yeah. Now looking at the look on, suddenly he whipped up in his belief. But so within the furnace, he could see four men, yeah. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yeah. But they were no longer bound to walk around freely. Yeah. That's how God can set you free. Yeah.
devil tries to take over your life, the only thing you have to do is pray. 